How's it going? My name is Brad Finch and I'm a member at First Presbyterian Church here in North Palm Beach. Um, just going to share a little bit of my story. Uh, I grew up in a split home, which was kind of challenging, and uh, I lived with my mother predominantly from the age of two till 14. Um, and there was no Christian um, anything. It was, you know, don't get me wrong, she was awesome, but that just wasn't, that wasn't part of my life. So uh, when I was 14, um, my mother moved to America and I was, we were living in Australia at the time and I went back to New Zealand uh, to live with my father. And dad's a Christian. Um, he never went to church, never took me to church, but always kind of talked about the Bible a little bit and Anyway, as I, as I kind of grew up, I, I guess I grew up a little bit crazy in my teenage years. And uh, I moved, I left, and I, when I moved back home around the age of 20, I came home one morning, kind of late, and beside my bed, there was a Bible. <laughs> and uh, I'd never even opened the Bible in my life. And it, was, it had a tab in there on the prodigal son. And for some reason, I read it. And it wasn't, it, didn't, it wasn't like an instant, like, oh, like it hit me then, but it, it did something to me reading that and realizing that um, that's what my father wanted, <laughs> was for me to come home. So um, anyhow, <clears throat> didn't happen straight away, but that planted the seed in me. And uh, fast forward a few years and I came to visit my mother in America and I met my lovely wife Emily, and she brought me to church at First Presbyterian, and I came, and I had no expectations about how it was going to be, um, and I just really started forming relationships quite quick, quick, quite quickly, and I hadn't accepted the Lord at all, but I enjoyed being here, and uh, I'm not sure who gave me um, a copy of the Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace. It's a CD set. And I was listening to it in my truck um, as I was driving around. And, uh, you know, Dave is, is a Christian man. And, you know, he's, he, he came to point in the CD and he said, it's easy. He said, if you want to invite the Lord and the Holy Spirit to be with you, then just pray this prayer with me. Um, so I pulled over, I paused the CD and I prayed the prayer. I mean, it was, it was short, but I invited the Holy Spirit into my heart and I carried on with my day. So it wasn't a, once again, it wasn't like a aha, but I had done something. I'd planted the seed again. I think opened a door for, for more change. And as I grew at First Prayers, um, I got really involved with men's ministry Sons of Barbecue and just men's ministry with, you know, Tim Gooley was super instrumental and, and Suds and Bill Inman and just uh, the brotherhood here at church just wrapped their arms around me and I've, and I've, just, I've just grown in my faith. Um, it's been a slow, it's, it's been a slow process and, uh, and I think that everyone's journey is different but um, I guess three years ago um, more. I became a member of the church, obviously, but then um, I was approached by a member here to become a deacon, and I, I prayed about it, and I said no. The, I said no. I wasn't. I wasn't ready for that. And then the next year, I got asked again. I'm like, really, God? I'm like, I, I guess maybe you're ready, and I'm not. So I just jumped in, <laughs> and uh, and had a a great time serving. Um, serving for me is my passion. So I got to know a lot of people who were here at church better and just it helped me grow more. Um, so if you asked me 10 years ago where I'd be now, I would have laughed at, to think that I'm now an elder at First Presbyterian Church. And um, I, I just, you know, my faith story is still, I think really, really just this far along, you know, and, and where I can go. but. Um, it's an interesting, fun journey, and it's just, it's a blessing to have him 
in my heart and to know that he's he's got his he's got his hands around me so i mean that's that's kind of me in a nutshell where i've where i've been where i'm going and I'm, it's just an exciting journey so i thank you for listening <laughs>